a blessed day and welcome the verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of colossians chapter 1 and 8 and has made known to us your love in the spirit last week we learned that the relationship between paul and epaphras thrived because of the bond in christ the foundation of their connection this morning we learn that to continue in love we need the help of the holy spirit one cannot manifest a god like agape except through the enablement of god's spirit the words in the spirit here mean being immersed in the atmosphere of the spirit the soil on which love flourishes the best example is an ice cream as long as it is in the fridge it is solid but as soon as it is taken out of the atmosphere of coldness it melts in the same way those who dwell more and more in the atmosphere of the spirit bring forth the fruit of the spirit which includes love it appears that the love that was exhibited by the colossian christians was a godly love that honored the lord a love that would bear all things believe all things hope all things and endure all things such love is long suffering and kind it doesn't envy or seek its own way it's not easily provoked and rejoices in the truth it is a love which never fails the fruit of the spirit starts with love and paul was informed by epaphras of their love in the spirit there is an old story that illustrates the principle of honor within marriage a drunken husband spending the evening with his jovial companions at a tavern boasted that if he took a group of his friends home with him at midnight and asked his christian wife to get up and cook supper for them she would do it without complaining the crowd considered it a vain boast and dared him to try it so the drunken crowd followed him home and he made the unreasonable demands to his wife she obeyed dressed came down and prepared a very nice supper and served it as cheerfully as she had been expecting them after supper one of the men asked her how she could be so kind when they had been so unreasonable even though she did not approve of their conduct her reply was sir when my husband and i were married we were both sinners it has pleased god to call me out of the dangerous condition my husband continues in it i tremble for his future state were he to die as he is he would be miserable forever i think it my duty to render his present existence as comfortable as possible not long after that her husband was saved precious ones love true godly love is not temporary or transient love is a commitment that is meant to last love is not based on everything going right or always being happy it is not an emotional feeling but rather a choice of the will let us pray Abba Father, help us to love like you, irrespective of all our circumstances. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.